So you go and grab one of the horses and ride off to the north uh, towards Conaberry, which you ha are familiar with because you live in the area. Uh, now that you are no longer tied down by the horse, you had already gone uh, maybe seven miles for the day. You're able to go a little f faster. Uh, so you finish the 10, get to 15, get to 20, get to 30, and you start heading into the forest. So you're able to reach the Banshee today. Um, nothing runs into you on the path. Uh, meanwhile, back at camp, um, all of you, maybe two, three hours after Frito uh, left, uh, wake up. Uh, these zombies have just been sort of, the dead deanimated ones have just been thrown into a pile, have started to burn. Because once you use a corpse once, it can no longer be used again in my adventure. So they're all burning. You guys are all sort of uh, tied up over here. Uh, it has been long enough uh, that you guys are awake again at 1 HP. You feel yourselves all tied up uh, looking at uh, the wizard and two of his zombies. So what have you been doing around here? Ah, striking a deal with your uh, roguish friends. Hmm. I assume that's Frito you're talking about. If, well, yes. If it's not one of the three of you, then yes. I assume it is Frito. But uh, more specifically, what have you been doing in the area, if you don't mind answering? Ah, that is not the question I believe I will be discussing. What brings you to the area? Truth is, we were told about some undead, and if we took them all out, we got some boots. Ah, you're here to deal with me and my bodyguards. Well, in a Why way... Why do you I need the bodyguards? Eh, it's a way to uh, scare off the locals. Right. But if you needed someone to help you with a thing, like you sent Frito off... Well, the undead aren't very useful at diplomacy now, are they? Right. So you're just hoping that someone would come through and not be scared of your zombies, and they would do your quest for you? No, I, I figured after a month or so more research here, I would have to bite the arrow, as it were, and go approach the Banshee myself. Oh, okay. This is the first you've heard of the Banshee. Awake. Well, from this character. From this character. So you sent him to go talk to a Banshee? Yes. Agatha? Uh, the one... Yes, you know of Agatha. Oh, we were supposed to go to... friend of ours. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were supposed to talk to her. Ah, well, perhaps the three of you still can. She typically only answers one question, but if she believes you two are separate entities and parties, maybe she'll answer yours. Oh, Ooh. maybe we were supposed to die for a reason. Oh, you're not quite dead yet. Oh, I but... thought we were zombies. No, you are not. Okay, I'll so I just naturally life. want to eat Robert's brain. Interesting. Please don't do that. Huh? Uh, perhaps that has something to do with your patron. Mmm. You seem pretty chill, to be honest. Well, uh, in all honesty, if you had given me a better response than we're going to leave now and not leave, I probably would have just asked you to go speak to the Banshee. Oh. Bro, that's wild. Fair enough. It's and dealing with your undead problem, I mean, once I have the answer from the Banshee, I was planning on leaving anyway, so... Damn. See how everything could have been avoided if you just didn't sick a bunch of zombies on us? <laughs> uh, uh, that's one way of looking at us. Everything worked out, though, right? <clears throat> we'll see. It depends on your friend's return. Uh, how long have you been in the area? Half a year. Jesus. So you, have you had any run-ins with zombies? I mean, not zombies, sorry, fuck it. Goblins, <laughs> rather? Uh, no. They, like most creatures, are afraid of the undead. Mm. Maybe we should have some zombies following us around. Actually, no, I hate zombies. Um, do you know what Rooksethid is? <laughs> <laughs> Ever heard of a Rooksethid, or... Hung out with a Rooksethid, or... The name does not sound familiar. So you're just gonna watch us while he goes and does your errand? Uh, do you want any food? Water? 
Jesus Christ, this guy. I mean, yeah. Shit. I, uh, the zombies sort of watch you guys just to make sure you're not doing anything, but he goes and starts making, like, a nice soup. Uh, and he once it's done, he like, gets some bowls and tips them into your mouths so you can drink it. I assume our hands are, like, chained up above our heads. Yeah. When he walks away, I just start flipping off the zombies. <laughs> uh, they don't react. Okay. <laughs> they are zombies. Um, but yeah, he sort of takes care of you guys, um, feeds you, gets you water when you need it, spends time chatting with you every now and again. Um, is there any, like, escape attempts or anything you guys wish to try, or else we will focus on the Banshee? Uh, considering I almost, well, I kind of died, I'm not going to try anything, but I would be curious to see if Robert has any ideas. Robert? We will. Uh, Robert's going to chill. Robin's going to give himself now. temp HP, though. So we will just remain chained for an entire day, I guess. <laughs> um, at night, when you guys have to sleep, he brings some blankets out and throws them over you. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a ghost. <gasps> oh, you're joking. <laughs> Alright, so we will switch you back over. Um, alright. Burrito. Uh-oh. Uh, as you pass by Conaberry, uh, which lies abandoned and in ruin, uh, you find a trail running through the town leading into the forest, which you assume leads to the lair of the Banshee. Uh, as you follow down that trail, the forest grows dark and still as the trail winds deeper into the trees. Heavy vines and thick layers of moss drape the branches, and the air is noticeably colder than it was in the ruined village. After rounding a bend in the trail, you come upon a domed shelter made from the warped, bowing branches of a nearby trees. A low doorway leads inside. I'll uh, call out is, hello, is anyone here? I was wondering if I could uh, talk to somebody. I don't want to just like walk in because that'd be kind of rude. I said that um, As you say that, <laughs> the air grows cold and a powerful feeling of dread grips you. A pale light flickers in the air rapidly taking the form of a female elf, her hair and robes waving in the spectral wind. A hateful expression twists her features. Foolish mortals, what do you want here? Do you not know it is death to seek me out? I don't fear death. I just kind of thought it'd be cool to talk to you. Ah, a brave one, are you? What is it you seek? Stupid, but you know. Bravery and stupidity often go hand in hand. <laughs> Indeed. What is it you seek, Fey one? It's a crusty ass tower, uh, not too south of here. I'm sure you know about it. I was wondering if you happen to know who built said tower. I do. What do you are you? Do you wish to give me in exchange for the information? Well, I don't know if you happen to uh, like uh, Jade at all. And this pretty cool frog statue made of you. Oh, um, is this the frog statue from the very first um uh, cave we cleared out? I think so. Am I supposed to give the call to the banshee? Uh, in this moment, as you offer the frog statue, give me a history. Unnatural twenty. Uh, you remember, uh, Sister Gabrielle saying to offer the comb for the. Ag's help. I also have this comb if that interests in you more than the statue. Ah, an option between trinkets. That is not something that often comes my way. Well, you know, you were kind enough to, uh, you know, not kill me instantly, so I figured that, uh, you know, some options are good. And you were polite enough not to barge into my home. Yeah, I don't really think that would have been cool. I feel like that's not a good way to make a first impression of someone. I'm surprised how many adventurers disagree with you. I'll say also with the Unnatural 20, you remember that uh, the sister has a question of her own that she wants answered, but you can't quite remember what it was. But perhaps someone in your party does. Uh, however, uh, to answer that question of who built the tower, I'll accept the gift of the frog statue. Alright, here you go. The wind sort of picks the statue up off your hand and brings it towards her, and she inspects it in front of her face. Quite a wondrous thing. And then it floats 
into the home behind you. Well, her home behind you. Uh, I didn't describe it earlier, but it's a home of sorts sheltered within the dome of woven branches. Uh, it's part, uh, you can't see what's inside, but you assume that is where the Banshee lives when corporeal. Very well. I know that you seek many things. Ask me one question, and I will give you an answer. I just get home, and I can't find all my notes. Because I remember the question, but I don't know, remember where my fucking notebook is. Are you talking about the question the wizard wanted you to ask? No, the question that uh, the priestess wanted me to ask. Get one question. Be wise about what you ask. Do you wish to ask the question about the tower? Sure. All right. Ah, yes. The tower at Old Owl Well was built in ages past by the one known as Drezina. Interesting. Indeed. Young adventurer. You know, it's funny. Uh, I just remembered uh, the other thing that I wanted to ask you. Would you uh, be willing to take the silver comb to answer another question for me? I was wondering if you had any information on the spellbook. Uh, give me a persuasion check. Why am I rolling so badly? Nine. All right. Unfortunately, young one, I only answer one question per group that approaches me. Like you said, most groups are not very polite and considerate, uh, as I have been. Um, and, you know, not many bring two gifts to offer to you. So, I, uh, please, uh, I insist as kindly as I can that uh, you just answer one more question for me. Give me a religion roll to see if the goddess of luck shines upon you today. Natural 20 plus 4. Oh, yeah! Well, damn, I guess she shines upon you today. Give me another persuasion with advantage. Unnatural 20. Yeah, boy! All right. Uh, what do you say more than uh, I insist as impolitely as I can upon you? With this nat no. 20 luck surging within you and this other unnatural 20 persuasion, what does Frito say? I think people don't really appreciate you. For what you do and that you get a lot of disrespect that you don't deserve and you know that's really important i'm sorry that that happens i just want to say that uh you know you do what you do, can do if you don't want to be around people that's completely understandable especially with the way you've been treated but uh i just want to say that uh you know it's pretty evident the influence that you hold in this area and uh I don't want to step on your toes any more than I already have, so I humbly ask that uh, you partake in this lovely cone and perhaps just give me a few more answers regarding some more information I need. Mm -hmm. How about a deal then, young Frito? Why do you know my name? I, in life, was a quite capable diviner, capable of seeing much in the future and far greater than my own eyes could see. So did you foresee this very conversation many a time ago? I saw it as a possibility. In some futures you came with your friends, in some you came alone, in some you came not at all. Mm. But each time you came, your reaction was always different. I never know which one I get in front of me until it happens. Well, I hope I've brought my best self to talk with you today. In exchange for the comb, and the promise that when you and your friends rebuild Cragmar Castle, you leave me alone in this portion of the wood, I'll answer one more question. I think that's pretty reasonable. Uh, do you want us to just kind of get the word out that you don't want to be fucked with and just leave you be and, uh, you know, be at if peace with your family? If I am left be, how would I get such wonderful offerings from others? I just wish you and your friends to not come back. That's understandable. Is so, uh, improve security in the woods to leave this section to me. What I could do too is that uh, I could kind of get out the word that um, if someone were to visit you to offer gifts for information that uh, 
you know, the guidelines that you would like to be approached with. That okay. is all right, adventurer. Some bring trinkets, some bring other gifts that are just as fun for me. I was more referring to, like, that people wouldn't just walk into your home and fuck with you. Yes, and I am saying that that can be fun for me as well. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'm totally cool with honoring the, uh, you know, just let me be if uh, we do rebuild uh, Craigmore Castle in the future. All right. So what is the second question? Uh, so there's this spell book. Um, considering you foresee quite a bit, you might should know if, uh, I don't even know if I should tell. I guess there's not really any reason not to. But Gariel's name and her spell book. But, uh, uh, give me insight. Six. Roll. Six. All right. Uh, you believe it would be best to leave off the sister's name, but you could mention the spell book. Yeah, there's a spell book that uh, I need a little bit more information about. So I was wondering if you could provide that, given your divine uh, insight towards many things. Uh, do you name the spell book? I found the note saying what to find. I didn't write down what the name of the spell book was. All right. On that 20 you got earlier, uh, it was Bow Gentles. Bow Gentles? Bow Gentles. Remember, you're trying to be polite. There was this spell book named Bow Gentles. I was wondering if you had more information uh, regarding it. Yes, that. I traded the book for a question I needed answered quite some time ago uh, to a necromancer named Hezer North. North from the city of Ariabor, but this was more than a hundred years ago, and I do not know what happened to the book after Reza North claimed it. Do you know if uh, Reza North is still alive? I mean, I know it was a hundred years ago, but considering they're a necromancer, maybe they're still kicking it? Um, that would be another question, now wouldn't it? I suppose so, and you've already been pretty generous in answering second yeah. question for me, so. Careful not to push your luck too far, young one. Yeah, that's fair. Um, let's see. Well, we've established uh, quite a rapport for people that will probably never talk again, uh, so I appreciate uh, this is our, This is a question, but uh, I want to show you some respect, so I hope you'll indulge me. Is What is your name? I, I, don't, I don't think that uh, just referring to you as uh, many of the others around here do is very fair so is there something that uh, you would like the people to know you as no, it's a question um, but uh, that's kind of your choice if you'd like to answer that is a polite thing to ask as people already call me in the area my name is indeed agatha agatha well i thank you agatha is uh you know, simply for the fact uh, that you uh, didn't kill me that's uh, very kind of you um the information you've given as uh, insightfully as uh, anyone would uh, not be surprised to believe, given the uh, insights that you have towards all events. And uh, yeah, and rest assured that uh, if me and my comrades are able to rebuild Cragmar Castle, that at least from our end of things, you will not be disturbed. And uh, in my travels, I will uh, let people know that, uh, you know, when they want to go speak to Agatha, that they must come correct, or uh, perhaps not come at all. Yes, that would be... I Perhaps it would be best for you to just not mention more than you need to about me to others. I'll just not mention it to anyone that's outside of my circle of people that might go into this area, and uh, those that uh, cross you will meet a likely unfortunate fate, but... Indeed. You know, I'm glad that we uh, were able to talk. Um, we'll say, and <laughs> I am pushing my luck here. I, I, as I kind of laugh. Well, young one. Like, and the comb goes into the hut, and the banshee vanishes. Oh, okay. Well, bye. And I like turn around and leave. All right, you remount your horse and start walking. You make it back into the ruins of Connyberry, where you will rest up for the evening unless you wish to push your way back to old owl well and your friends am i in like a secured location in uh, you find a ruined house that you can set up camp in and your uh rapier will warn you of anything approaching 
I will take a rest then. Uh, the night passes without issue. Those back at Old Owlwell, you wake back up, blankets on you. Uh, the wizard is offering you guys sausage and bacon and eggs, and he'll feed it to you. Oh, right. Where the fuck do you get this from? Uh, I, uh, have been keeping supplies cold with magic for quite some time. Oh, my arms are so sore. Uh, well, I'm providing you as much comfort as I can, given the situation. I hope you'll forgive a little soreness. I just hope he gets back. I hope he's still alive. What happens if he's just dead? Do we just stay here forever? Perhaps. Shit. Since we had a rest, do we heal all the way up? Um, yeah. I guess technically. Okay, cool. But that also means uh, they did as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, well... I guess we just stay tied up. Robert, you wake up and make your way back. Frito. Yay. I keep doing this. I'm so sorry. I am so I'm still sorry. asleep. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm Frito. Robert's probably having some sort of withdrawal right now. <laughs> I, yeah, give me, a, give me a con save, Andrew. I need my weed. You don't understand. Uh, Starts foaming at the mouth. Help! <laughs> we need help! Two. Yeah, you're not doing well not having taken any scissors still recently. You're starting to, like, shake and tremble. You're starting to go through, like, withdrawals. You're not seeing anything because you don't have the drugs drug in your system, but you're, you're like, I need more. I, I need more. Hey, hey, Robert, are you all right? I'm trying to bite the nearest fern, which is not near me at all. You <laughs> can see him, like, like, lunging forward, biting. Oh, uh, God. This... Mr. Necromancer! Okay. Ah, I'm yes. like levitate over to the fern, but I'm my name. Stuck. Something's wrong with my friend. My name is uh, Amun. Amun. If you is that wish. raw? Oh my god! Ah, I wonder who's gonna kill him. Let's see, Mattis. He's trying to eat a plant. Uh, perhaps <laughs> he's just hungry, and he uh, gives you some more sausages. <laughs> see, Amanda needs stuff some meat in his mouth. Yeah. He, he did a medicine check. He rolled horribly. <laughs> I perceive the sausages as a fern and start trying to kill them. All right. Uh, he puts them, like, in your mouth, and you just start, like, tearing them and eating the fern that you think is in front of you. <laughs> I start uh, moving and... as far away from him as possible just in case he starts seeing me as a fern. <laughs> uh, but that does calm you down. Uh, tacking the fern calms you down. Uh, so you calm down a little bit. Um... Closer towards the end of the day, 3 p.m. ish, uh, Frito, you once again see Old Owl Well in the distance. How do you wish to approach? Hello, everyone. My name is Mark Blair. Oh, <laughs> I didn't die. Do you get off the horse and tie it back up to the wagon and the oxen that have just been sitting out there? <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, I'll just I'll do that. All right. Um, they look fed enough. They've just been sort of eating the grass that they've been next to. Uh, they look a little thirsty, but that's a problem from later. Uh, you tie up the horse and you reapproach from the dirt. Uh, He's alive! Uh, walking into the courtyard, you see your three friends tied up, and you see the wizard sort of talking with them, uh, giving them food, and the zombies just sort of standing guard. Holy well, shit, Frito. The red, uh, red robed one. Ah, you've returned, Frito. That I have. Were you successful in your endeavor? Yeah, I went and talked to the Banshee and she didn't kill me. That was actually pretty uh, pretty unexpected. Ah, you are a brave one and very charismatic, it seems. Uh, well, you know, when you're completely outmatched in terms of uh, a combat situation, the best thing to do is approach with respect, and uh, I tried my best to do that. Yes. Well, that is good. I use here. I start doing aggressive humping motion towards the zombies. <laughs> uh, the wizard turns around and sort of stares at you and just like, okay. And she looks back to Frito. So what was the answer to my question? Of who built this tower? Yes. Uh, it was uh, Dresna. Ah, Dresina. Is that a I name just... that's familiar to you? No. Ah, uh, perhaps, perhaps not, but it is... The answer I seek, so I, he takes a key out of his robe and throws it at you. Shall keep the end of my bargain. Oh, great. I, 
always appreciate someone that is a man of their word. I'll go and uh, free my friends then. A red wizard of their uh, word? Uh, the wizard goes, uh, sort of gathers the few things he needs from the tent, and then him and the zombies, as you're working, just sort of walk off into the distance. Bye. Thanks for not... It was good surprised. doing a business with you, Frito. Uh, yeah. What's your name, by the way? I am Hamoon Kost. Hamoon Frost. Kost. With a K. Hamoon Forced. Alright. <laughs> if we shall meet again, let it be in a mood of trading and a phosphorus uh, continuation and not one of violence. Uh, yeah, hopefully uh, that uh, we don't kill each other next time. Also, leave Indeed. the Banshee alone. She doesn't really like to be bothered. And if you do come, come correct. Uh, <laughs> indeed, that is why I wished for you to go instead of me. Whatever floats your fancy, buddy. Uh, and he will walk off, leaving the tent, and you don't know what else in there. Free tent! Alright, I'll uh, untie my friends. Let's go. Uh, you go and untie your compatriots, who's all are like, Oh, my arms! Robert immediately just sort of dive bombs. Scrambling to get out of his coat, some drugs just. Oh, is that not what happens, Robert? Yeah, there, there was part of the time when I was contemplating trying to bite Frito as he was untying me. I'm like, no, no, no I gotta wait. All right, give me a con save. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Yep. All right, you're, you're on the floor. You get the high back. You feel the shakes going away, <laughs> and then your mother appears in front of your eyes once again. Not again. Oh, you're back. Oh, yeah, Robert. Oh, I start running over here. Robert. Uh, uh, your mother is just like chasing after you. <laughs> Get back here so I can spank you. I've been a bad boy. I'm going to chase after Robert. So you're just being like chased around the tower. <laughs> yep. By your mother as she screams insults and deprecates you. Robert, stop running. <laughs> you couldn't even protect your father. I uh, can't even find him. Who? Who are you looking for? <laughs> yeah, you guys are just like Robert. Just You just saw Robert inhale a whole lot of drugs. <laughs> and then just start running around the tower crying. Um, Eventually, you see a fern just like in the ground. And you go after it. Start strangling it. Ew. What the fuck? I look back. Is anyone else paying attention to this? Or are they just... <laughs> Not. Uh, uh, Gerald has sort of accepted that Robert does this, and actually, uh, Rob, while he's being like on the ground, Gerald walks up to Robert, uh, and you can, I guess, Robert decide how much you want this to do, but he's going to lay his hand on you and cure you of a disease or neutralize a poison. So he could, right now, make you completely sober and not crave the drugs anymore. Or you, can or you can choose to continue craving it, but he's got the effects under control for you that your mother isn't chasing after you. Yeah, my mother just dis disappears when he does that. So he lays his hand on you and the drug, I, you still feel great and great and good and it's just <laughs> amazing, but you're no longer hallucinating and on a bad trip. Oh, thank God. Oh, well, you're not my mother. I am not. Thank you. How long was I here? Um, yeah, since Frito four months. Left, it's been <laughs> a day. Okay, then that's not the worst. I walk back oh, to right. the tower. <sighs> yeah, so walk back over. Hey guys, yes. was another close one. Frito, you did it. You saved us. You saved us, Frito. Just gonna say, we need to get a lot better because we just got our ass dishanded to us, and if we had been facing different opposition, we would all be dead. So, yeah. uh, we gotta proceed a bit more cautiously going forward. Better so. plans, too, because I feel like the smarter thing, if we had decided we are going to attack the these people, we should have just all focused on the necromancer, because then maybe the zombies would have gone away. Yeah. And just the yeah. fact that this mage was not really going to be hostile... <laughs> yeah, I I think we started that combat with me saying, of all the people we've met so far, he's the least likely to want to talk to us, and that was the complete opposite. So, just don't let me make any decisions. I, I, I straight up, 
I, I chortled a little bit when she said that. I was like, I've taught them well. Time to teach them the opposite. <laughs> Time to teach them to trust nobody. <laughs> First thing I say, maybe we should tell them to fuck off. No, I don't think he wants to talk to us. Okay. <sighs> um, anything else people want to do in the camp? Check out the tent again. I'm going to go back in the tent. Yeah, I'm going to search the tower. All right, you go. Uh, in the tower, all oh, you don't... Actually, give me a roll. Just a d20. Just a d20. What are you... Yeah, give me a d20. Six. Um, uh, you f don't really find anything, unfortunately. Smells like zombies in here. I leave. Uh, Gerald will join you. That's Eleven also doesn't really find anything. I'll roll. All right, walk in the tower. Give me a roll. Natural 20. Perfect. Um... I'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, Robert, you go back into the tent and you see that the jeweled box that was on his desk is still there. Ooh. I'll open that. All right. Uh, you open the box and you find a ring inside. Oh my God. He was married. I was going to say, this is the craziest proposal ever. <laughs> I do. Teleports back in for my wife. Uh, Give me an arcana roll. I got a 18. Yeah. Got an 18. Yeah. yeah. Um, Looking at this ring, you know it's quite valuable, and you're wondering why the wizard left it behind. Uh, perhaps he did it as a parting gift. Perhaps uh, he no longer thought he needed it. Uh, you notice know it is a ring of protection forged in ancient in the ancient empire of netheril Ooh. um while wearing it you receive a plus four bonus to saving throws or checks made to avoid dropping or being disarmed of any item in your hand take that i'll take the box does he have like unused papers on his desk yeah he has a stack of unused papers that's good like to take that and like any ink he was using. All right, uh, you get two bottles of ink and a stack of papers. Oh, yeah. Uh, Frito, looking around the tower, you move uh some rocks out of the way. You're moving some barrels. You get Gerald and Oris to sort of help you with it, and eventually you find uh, a trapped door, which you open and leads you down into a basement. Uh, there's not a lot of stuff down here. Most of it is. Uh, decayed and ruined away, broken shelves, uh, but sitting in a corner of the room on an armor stand is a set of armor. Ooh, I'll take that. What type of armor is it? Uh, you find studded leather armor plus one. Let's go. That's better than the shit I got now. Is that, uh, light armor? Yes. Nice. Uh, were you able to find the ring of protection in... Uh, yeah, I put it in my equipment. We're good. Perfect. Oh. Well, that's actually a thing. Perfect. What's the... What is it called? Uh, studder, st studded leather armor plus one. Uh, I'm searching it and I can't find it. Studded leather plus one. Here, I'll add it. Alright. I added that to your equipment if you want to refresh the page. It's not a huge boost for you, but it is uh, brings all three of you up to 16 AC. Nice. Um, with that, that combat will end, uh, including the Banshee dealing with the Banshee uh, and getting rid of the remaining zombies and the wizard by getting him to leave to go back. You assume Fey. Everyone will get a thousand experience. Damn! We did all of the quests in this area in two sessions. Light walk. Light walk. Thank God we didn't bring Gundren. Maybe he could have helped. Uh, but, once again, we are going to... You guys, I assume, take a long rest here in the tower? Well, don't really need to because... Uh, oh yeah, you have just woke up. True. Uh, it is like three in the afternoon. Um, so I'll s say you guys sat out again. 
Uh, where do you want to head? Just so I know. Do we want to... Should we just... How many how many days would it take us to get to Thunder Tree from here? With the cart, if you cut through the f forest, it's 58 miles away and you're going about 20 miles a day. So it'll probably take you... You travel for the rest of today, three days, not including the rest of today. Uh, do you guys want to just head to Thunder Tree and... I mean, what are we do? What do we have to do in Thunder Tree? Locate Redolph, and find a ring. It wouldn't hurt to look around, I guess. Oh, wouldn't hurt to look around, yeah. Maybe the ring she left behind is magical somehow, or maybe Redolph can give us a quest. And if not, we can kill him for XP. <laughs> no, just kidding. Perhaps there is stuff there for you to kill for XP. Who knows? Yeah. Sure. We'll we'll head to to Thunder Tree, and. All right. Robert doesn't get a say. Because he died. Yeah. All right. Um, so you guys make it about there for the day. We're not on the big map, by the way. Oh, thank you. Uh, you make it to about follow the purplish line there uh, for the day. So it was already pretty late. Uh, and then you set up camp and go to sleep. And we will pick up with you waking up in the morning. So essentially, you used the rest of the daylight hours to move Lovely. a little bit, and then you went to sleep. And then next week, we'll pick up with you waking up and making your way to Thunder Tree. Yeah, that that fight uh, uh, did not go how I expected. Oh, it all worked out in the end. That red wizard was not as evil as I thought. <laughs> thought he was going to be? I thought yeah. he was going to just be pure, like... Who are these mortals walking my plane? <laughs> well, he kind of did that when he fireballed us. Yeah, I did not expect so many people to fail. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Uh, no, and the, that thing with the zombies, they have this ability called Undead Fortitude, mm. where if they get reduced to zero hit points, they make a con save, which is a DC of five plus the damage taken, and they were just rolling more than that every single time. Yeah. It made it a, a cool fight, though. And I kept waiting for Nick to be like, I'm going to use my chromatic orb and use poison. Would poison have been better? No, they're immune yeah. to it. You would have done nothing. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of like thinking like, I don't know, undead and poison. It's like, poison? It seemed like a good combination. You remember? In Divinity, poison healed undead. Exactly. I'm like, Nick remembers Divinity. He remembers that the undead get <gasps> healed by poison. Oh, God, that would have been, would have been fuming. <laughs> I wouldn't have healed him, but no, I, I liked, I enjoyed playing that villain. It's one of the more not just, oh, run at the enemy and smash them with my sword. Yeah. I'll keep in mind that those people do exist now. <laughs> uh, people who don't just run at you and smash them with your sword. Yeah. I just, I just became so traumatized by bad guys that I was just like, no, he's going to attack us. But then he offered us to leave and I was like, but we've got Gerald here. Why not try to kill him? But yeah. You got Gerald, but Gerald can only do one attack, and he has three smites. That was why I was having Gerald smite, because they wouldn't make the save if it was radiant damage, or they had a crit on them. Mm. So I'm like, I can guarantee these people die. But after that, well, that was good. That was good. Yeah, good sesh. Uh, the mage was definitely the hardest enemy you fought so far. 